From anatomy to anesthesiology, from pathology to pharmacology, from microbiology to medicine, a one-man resource to the world of health sciences. Welcome to Dr. Paul's Medical Lectures. A practicing physician, Dr. Paul offers you essential insights on diseases afflicting millions of people around the world. For today's lecture, here is Dr. Paul. Good evening, folks. This is uh, Dr. Paul. Thank you very much for watching my video today. Today I want to talk about uh, PIAD, porn induced erectile dysfunction. I get many of these uh, patients from time to time, almost at least once a week. So recently I saw one patient just like 22 years old. So he's having problems with erection, just 22. And I asked him, mm, how do you spend your day? So he gets up, go to college and uh, then goes to home and he then he watches a lot of porn on the computer like naked pictures and explicit videos and streaming videos and um, he became an addict basically. So his body now is not even responding. So it's like uh, I find he says that there is a serious disconnect between my body and my mind. So you see that's a, a big problem and this guy started to date somebody and his body is not responding. And so sad. So this is a, a very very bad problem. There are millions in our society with this problem and it is called porn induced erectile dysfunction and I am seeing so many people with this. So let us talk about this problem. A growing number of young men are convinced that their sexual desires have been sabotaged by watching so much porn. So especially in the last 20 years porn exploded because of the advancements in DVD technology, advancement in publications, and then the birth of internet, the world wide web, and porn sites are like increasing. Millions of people are searching for porn every second on the internet. And as a result, what is happening is porn is exploding. People are watching porn even in their smartphones. And uh, religious groups and feminist groups uh, cried all these years, but new groups are also protesting this uh, expensive, I mean, uh, extensive use of porn. So it's a very important thing because porn ultimately leads to degradation of women. It's a sexual aggression. I mean, people are using porn that is very, 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 very violent and it degrades women. And uh, it is, uh, it, it basically, it takes your normal brain and it completely changes your brain. And by the time you watch so much porn, your brain does not even respond to the stimuli. Like there is a brain area called striatum in the brain and it shrinks and shrinks and shrinks. So it's very, very important. So many adolescents are watching porn and uh, they say, ah, oh, it's just normal. In accelerated society like ours, many people think that it's normal. And unfortunately, the grades are falling. There is a website called Reboot Nation and uh, they have advice to, for people who are addicted to pornography. And uh, some of these advices are if you leave porn, your grades will improve. Because it is just common sense, folks. People like these kids who are given with tablets, instead of doing homework, they are watching porn. I mean, are you surprised that their grades are going down? 
and our politicians wonder why we are spending all this money and our grades are not going up. What's the problem? Of course there is a problem. You spent a lot of money on giving computers and smartphones these kids, but they are not studying, they are watching porn. That's the problem. And one of my patients came and said, can you test my testosterone? He's only 22. Why do you need to be tested your testosterone? I asked him. So he said, well, I have problems. I'm not getting erections. Even with my beautiful girlfriend, I'm not getting any erections. And I asked him very seriously. Well, before we order labs and all that, I need to take some history, sir. How do you spend your day? So this guy started to watch porn like when he was like three or four years old because his dad is like a software engineer and he gave him like uh, uh, access to his computer. And this guy was uh, watching a lot of porn. And that's a serious problem, folks. You see how, how, how bad it is. You go to websites like Reddit. And on this website, there is a, like subreddit. Uh, I think it's like nofap.com. If you go there, the story after story after story, these kids telling you how their sexuality completely ruined by pornography. So this guy, he was by the age 14, he was watching so much porn. Like, I mean, it's like video games. His parents think he's watching video games. He was doing video games, but actually he was watching porn. So you see, by now, by age 22, his body is not even responding to his girlfriend. So that's very sad. So I always encourage people to go to websites to find help, like Reboot Nation, something like that. So if, you, uh, if you're having erectile dysfunction problems, the first thing you should do is to stop watching porn. Realize that you are an addict and uh, consider that as an addiction. Don't, don't say, oh, this is uh, just uh, fun. This is like a side dish for me. No, there is no side dish. It will become your main diet. And you will be hooked to that visual stimuli. And it's getting a big problem. In 1992, only 5% of people experienced ED at age 40. Back in 1992, only 5%. Now it is 26%. That's the data from National Institute of Health in Washington, D.C. So that's very important. 26% are going through. And uh, also in 2014, there is a study done in U.S. military. And in U.S. military personnel, younger than 40, a third is having problems with ED. A third, this, this is like military, uh, supposedly the most uh, uh, trained people. Instead of fighting in the army with the enemies, they are wasting their time on watching porn. They're, they're, they're hooked up to porn. That's a very, very problem. And one more study showed that um, the soldiers watching porn are more likely to attack female military personnel. So men who are watching porn are more likely to attack women. That's a study, an objective study done in the military. So I have no doubts that's the same thing about the society outside the military. So to start with, I am going to do some more videos on this topic, but to start with, realize that uh, erectile dysfunction is uh, increasing, 5% 1992, 26% today, and uh, it's directly correlated with the increase in the porn. 
and if you are having that problem stop porn first of all first of all confess that's a sinful behavior confess you are an addict go to god and ask for forgiveness and stop it and then go into a very lively relationship with that person with that special person in your life and start a living relationship with that living human being not with the screen of a computer or a tablet or smartphone but start your relationship with the, that living person enjoy that living person then your body will start to act again to those stimuli and that's the first step you have to do when you want treatment for pied that's porn induced directional dysfunction the first step is to stop watching porn like cvpd right chronic obstructive pulmonary disease right when patient with cvpd comes who smoked all these years what do you do the first step is to stop smoking so like obesity people eat and eat and eat and eat and now they can't stop they have no control the obese people are addicted to food in the same way these people are addicted to porn so they have to stop it one thing you can do is to fast do fasting if you fast your body gets control on the desires of your flesh and that's a very very important point and uh, i will be doing some more videos on this topic please check back again thank you very much